All right, my name is Lawrence Yu. My, I'm Chief of Optometric Interviews for OptometryStudents.com, and I'm here with Dr. Glenn Steele in sunny San Diego. We're just going to have an interview about infancy and pediatric optometry and how that can help you as optometry students succeed once you graduate and enter practice. And Dr. Steele, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit more about yourself. I'm Dr. Glenn Steele. I'm a professor of pediatric optometry at Southern College of Optometry in Memphis. I also chair the AOA in Optometry Cares, the AOA Foundation uh, Infancy Committee. And um, there, there's about six of us that work together to uh, develop the program, and it's a wonderful team to work with. How, how can you tell us more about how the AOA plans on increasing awareness of pediatric optometry so that new graduates out of school, they can, they can rely on having a, a patient population base that will be more infant and children based? What's the AOA doing to be able to increase the awareness? And, and, and that to me is what infancy becomes. It becomes really a program whereby we start with that early age, increasing the awareness, continue to increase that awareness. We now have collaboration with some 30 or 40 organizations outside of optometry that we never had before. That's another thing infancy has done. Text for baby. Uh, healthy mothers, healthy babies. There was an ad in there yesterday. Um, zero to three. I have a poster at zero to three this fall. So these organizations we have not been involved in. So now as we go to those organizations and the people that attend those meetings are in your communities, they come to you and seek you out as the, the, the responsible resource for managing all of those kinds of areas. And so it, it's not only promotion through AOA, yes we are going to have our own um, uh, in, in infancy, we're going to have our own promotion programs, but in collaboration with other organizations that are not just now in, in quote, AOA, they're outside of that and they're in your local communities. So you become a resource for them. Do you have any kind of advice or words of wisdom for students who are still in optometry school? Um, do I have any last words? I, I have a number of, of last words for students and, 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 but primarily it's learning never stops. If you stop learning, then the world is going to pass you by. But I find those that are involved, learning is not an issue at all. And then get involved. Get involved in the profession. You have the opportunity to make the profession what it can be in the direction you want it to be. Um, the, the good news is we don't know where that's going to take us. The better news is we have the opportunity to be a part of shaping that. So let's do something a little bit more fun. We'll just play kind of like a word association game. Okay. So I'll say a word and you say the first thought that comes to your mind. It could be one word, it could be a few sentences, whatever you prefer, but just let it out. Don't, okay. don't hold anything in. So let's, let's start here. Future of optometry. Future of optometry, the, the, the door is wide open for us. We gotta walk through. Okay. But if we don't walk through. And optometry students? Optometry students, uh, the lifeblood of our profession. Um, and, and you are the ones that have the opportunity to walk through that door and, and shape the future. AOA? AOA, the, the, the mother organization. First become a member of AOA because regardless of the privileges you have and you think you have now, those can be taken away and those should be protected by every means possible for your patients. You have privileges now that I didn't have when I started into practice and you have those privileges now just upon graduation. Utilize them, protect them and that's what AOA can do for you. Pediatric optometry? Pediatric optometry, uh, so many people think that's a specialty. Uh, if you go into a regular practice, a general practice, you're gonna have everything from, from babies to, to geriatric patients. Think of pediatrics not as a specialty, but it's something I do every day. Healthcare reform? Healthcare reform is, is, is the unknown part. Uh, it, it is a big unknown, but again, it's opportunity to shape that. Okay. And public health awareness. 
Public health awareness is so, so important. Be inv involved in organizations outside of AOA to, to raise the awareness of what an optometrist does beyond simply selling glasses. Yes, that's a, a major part of it, but there's so many other things we do that relates to the health of the public.